season an amazing season. Uh, we're going to have questions and answers from the media for you and your players. Media, when you want to ask a question, just please raise your hand. I'll bring the mic to you. Uh, to start the, the interview, Coach, how about some opening comments from you? Sure. Uh, first of all, thank you all for, for having us. Uh, um, wow, what a football game. Um, you know, I, I think the buildup to the game was real. I mean, obviously, uh, those guys have, tr have some tremendous players. Uh, they have one heck of a football coach, uh, Coach Terry. He is a, is a, he's an icon in our profession and somebody I've looked up to and respected for a long time. I've never had the chance to coach against him. So I was excited about that tonight, but um, the way his guys were prepared uh, was impressive. It really was. Um, you know, one thing about our football team uh, throughout the course of the season is held true is the fact that I haven't really always played that great, uh, but we've done enough to win. And I think the character of our guys certainly showed tonight. Um, you know, we had to shut out on defense in the second half um, in the semifinal game. We had a shutout on defense in the second half. In the quarterfinal game, we had a shutout on defense in the second half. Those guys have just been playing great football under Coach Thomas's leadership on the on the defensive side um, all season long, and I can't say enough about them. Um, certainly, very proud of, um, of our football team. Very proud of the Zachary community that showed up tonight, um, and and love coaching this building. It's an incredible venue that. Uh, uh, certainly, we we uh, we try to to reach every year. Coach Brewerton, uh we talked early in the season um, from the St. All game and everything, and you said it, that you needed that game more than anything else. And you were saying that I don't know if our defense might not stop everything, but at the same time, we're going to need to make critical stops late. And it seems like the last couple of weeks, it came to fruition. Yeah, it did. God, tonight in the second half, we just continue to put our defense in a bad situation, deep in our own territory, and they they uh, they provided the stop we needed time and time again. And, and uh, I think those games that you're talking about, maybe earlier on in the season, uh, were games that that prepared us for this point. Uh, we had some 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 great games along the way, and some great games in the playoffs, and and uh, certainly paid off tonight. Hey, Coach Brew, congratulations on another championship. I've been here to see you win all of them right. here. But uh, I wanted to ask you about your defense, your guys stopping Johnson, because I saw Johnson play last week. I was at their game against Acadiana, and the man ran so hard and so well in that game. Can you talk about your defense, stopping him, holding him to just 50 yards, 22 carries, and forcing them to have to air the ball out probably a little more than they wanted to? Yeah. Well, that was certainly the game plan. Our number one priority was, was stopping the run game uh, and make them have to beat us throwing, which looked <laughs> looked a little ugly at times tonight. Uh, they completed a lot of balls for a lot of yards. But I, I think the bend, don't break defense that uh, we, we have tended to play all season long um, did what it needed to do throughout the course of the night. Uh, we gave up some yardage. We gave up some drives. But when it got down tight, we made the plays we had to make. Um, but yeah, stopping the run game was the number one priority coming into this game. They seem to thrive off of their run game and everything else works off of it. Uh, we did a tremendous job against our, their, uh, their RPOs off the run game tonight. Our safeties did a tremendous job of coming up and breaking up a bunch of those passes. Um, and couldn't be more proud of the defense. Coach, you guys were down, tw uh, you guys were down 20 to seven early on in this game. Go into the half, you, you have that big touchdown yeah. uh, to cut it to 20 to 14. When you, what did you, what was the thought process when you guys went into the locker room yeah. down 2014? <clears throat> well, I think that, uh, you know, one of the, the biggest things I told our guys was, hey, listen, in, in 2015 against John Eric, uh, it was a very tight game at halftime. In 2017 against Hanville, they had the most prolific player in, in Louisiana, and it was another tight game, and we blew it open in the second half. And, and then against West Monroe in 2018, it was a tight game at half. So I, our kids, not these specific kids, but our program is used to being um, in those tight football games in this building, and they trust the process, and they trust the fact that the uh, um, you know, adjustments that are going to be made at halftime will put them in the best possible chance to win and, uh, you know, scored uh, – uh, what we needed to score in the second half, and, and our defense pitched a shutout. So it uh, worked out real well. Question. 
Coach Bro, what is it about your team? Seem, I mean, I know y'all were down 14 on the East Ascension in the second round, 21 nothing to West Monroe. Do you guys practice situational football and practice to be prepared for those kind of moments? Because it seems like y'all thrive when y'all down. I think it's just the character of this football team, I gotta be honest with you. Uh, they're led by guys that, that um, work incredibly hard. Um, what Coach Little does to those guys in our strength and conditioning program is criminal sometimes. and, and uh, but they believe that, that their bodies can push through and get it done. And that, that's, that's my honest to God answer. I, I just think that they don't ever believe they're going to lose. Um, and I think there's a couple games that have taken place uh, the latter part of this season that is going to, to prove uh, in next year's team and maybe the team after that that we don't ever believe that we're out of a football game. And, and uh, uh, that, that proved uh, true again tonight. Coach, in the second half, specifically with the shutouts, the third down stops that led to fourth down stops, especially inside the 10, was that the spark that just got everything going for the defense? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, I, grabbed, uh, I grabbed the offense after the defense made another unbelievable stop down inside the red zone. I grabbed the offense and said, fellas, one drive. I mean, we don't even need points on this drive. Just get it out of the, our territory. Let's flip the chains a little bit. And I think that was the drive that we got it probably all the way to the other 40. And then we had a fourth down, and we've been working on a quick kick this week. And, and Eli, came, um, you know, we were in our normal ace formation. I think we're trips. Or an ace. And, and um, we had a quick kick there and down on the one-yard line. So, um, you know, flipping the, flipping the field, flipping field position, and uh, making them go as long as they would have had to have gone to score was big. I've come to a lot of these, and I don't think I've ever seen a winning team smile less than you guys are smiling right now. Can we just hear from the guys? Like, are you guys even happy about this? Or you're just you're sitting there not showing any expression whatsoever, like your poker face. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is a dream come true for all of us. But, you know, we expect to win games like this. You know, we, you know, we won games like this. Uh, obviously, coming into the playoffs, uh, those you know, quarterfinals, semifinal game. Uh, all those games like that, you know, we're 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 used to winning games like this, so um, we're we're happy in the inside. You know, we just kind of keep our composure right now. Well, you know, I don't know about that happy face uh, question. I mean, that's going to be a tough follow, but um, coach coming to you, uh, a, a telling statistic for me: two for six red zone um, for Pontchartula tonight. Your defense between the twenties was all right, but then when it came, like you said, tight, y'all were able to stop them. And, you know, do you feel like the game changed in the second half on that first interception that uh, they threw? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I was asked a question earlier this week, uh, uh, who out of the ordinary that I think was going to make a massive play in this game? And I said, without question, Carlton Johnson. And uh, they said, well, I said, I don't know. The guy kind of is the quarterback of our defense on the back end, and he's always in the right place, and he gets us lined up. Uh, so for him to get that interception and make that run he did was outstanding. It really was. It was awesome. Uh, something else tonight uh, that I'm incredibly proud of, uh, Jordan Williams down here on the end as our, as our first football player, Zachary, uh, to be recognized in uniform um, for making the composite all-academic team and as, as a 4.0 student the entire year. And for him to represent us out there on that field tonight while we're winning a state championship uh, was pretty awesome to see. So, Jordan, congratulations, man. Uh, Eli, just two for you. The, the punt. Uh, how much did you work on that? Did it feel good off the foot? Because the result was obviously fantastic. And just from the overall perspective, the two interceptions, obviously not what you wanted, but to be able to come back, throw the deep ball for the touchdown, how big was that? What was the mentality after the picks? Uh, yeah, we've been working on that quick kick for a while, and uh, you know, I got a little punt in my blood. My dad punted at LSU, so you know, he's always helped me. You know growing up, punting to that, so I've always been ready for that situation. But, you know, throwing those two interceptions, definitely not ideal, not what I wanted to do, but, you know, I got a lot of leaders on this team, a lot of guys on this team, you know, picking me up, you know, a lot of guys that I can trust to throw to the ball to, you know, guys like Tyler and Jordan where I can just throw a little ball and they can make a big play out of it. So, you know, just being able to flush those two interceptions, you know, come back and win the game was big for me. Coach, 